Hello Jeff, it is Monday. It has been an extremely busy weekend for me because I went on a little bit of a traveling excursion. Took some photos, a little bit of video. I'll actually be cutting that together and putting it in my other channel here in the next few days. It's gonna be a very busy week. I'm grading, doing application stuff, and getting ready for Vicky to be here next Monday. So a week from now-ish. A week from maybe an hour from now as of this filming. A lot of stuff going on, very busy, and as you may notice, not even wearing a collar or a tie today. So you know that shit has gotten real. Well, it's gonna be the future soon, and I won't always be this way. When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away. And now, oh, hold on, I got, I'm making dumplings. Sorry about that. This week I was going to just complain about ebook pricing because I find that constantly flummoxing. Mainly in that there are several books I've been thinking about buying, but I haven't because at least as far as Amazon is concerned, the Kindle price, because I have my Kindle, my mom gave it to me, but yeah, the Kindle price of several books that I've been thinking about buying is above the cost of the paperback book, which is just crazy to me. That is crazy, isn't it? it? Seems crazy. You're not physically producing anything. Anyway, the ongoing struggle between publishers and electronic book distributors like Amazon, for example, is just, I don't think there's necessarily a good guy, bad guy side. We're just figuring things out. People are trying to maximize their profits and in general consumers uh, kind of get hosed in a lot of ways. The fact that we can't transfer books from one type of device to another unless we're sort of shifty about it. The question of if you really own the book because apparently according to certain license agreements you're not supposed to like share your ebooks with other people and just all that stuff is crazy. So I'm not going to talk about it right now in any sort of in-depth way. I just want to complain about a list of books that I will eventually buy but have not bought because of this pricing stuff. Civil War Land in Bad Decline by George Saunders, great collection, just came out as an ebook, and the ebook is more expensive than the print edition. Why? The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Hatton, The Big Con, Story of the Confidence Men. It's a book that was actually very influential on The Sting, which is one of my favorite movies because, well, I love almost any movie that is about a heist or con men or stars Paul Newman and Robert Redford. And I didn't realize when I was looking at my list of books that I'm annoyed that I haven't bought yet, but a lot of those are random house books, and it's not just them doing it. I've noticed a lot of major publishers that do this same thing. Well, that's not the right way of phrasing it, actually, because it's Amazon pricing their paperback editions lower than the publishers set the price for the electronic book editions. I don't know, look, it's a whole thing. And I haven't been able to give my research into the causes, the due diligence that I would like to because of all the stuff. Although I did have time to uh, put together a little, I don't know, a, a blog Sember thing. Here it is. See? Yeah. Blog Sember. I think I'll make a, a smaller one, though, because this one's just sort of bleh. It's big. Can't believe November is almost over. I mean, my relationship with time is pretty loose in general, but more and more I start to see the passing of time as like an hourglass, as though I can actually see the days slipping down and away off wherever all the time we don't make the best use of disappears to. But I'm trying to do better. Anyway, I think my dumplings are almost done, so I will leave you with two things. Did you know that scorpions give live birth to anywhere from two to a hundred or more baby scorpi... Sco scorp... Is there a word that means baby scorpions? Aha! Scorplings! from two to over a hundred scorplings at a time. Although the average, according to Wikipedia, is eight. And the other thing was... something... Damn it, what was it? I swear I learned something that I thought was really cool. Oh, I remember, and considering the fact that I forgot, uh, this is especially funny. A study presented at last Sunday's annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America shows that mental activities like reading and writing and playing games, all of the games they're talking about are like chess or checkers or cards, and not like, say, video games, but 
That's just because the test didn't include video games. Maybe that's true for them, also. Help to prevent things like dementia, Alzheimer's, and decreased, you know, cognitive ability in aging people. This clearly means that my brain will live forever. I've always suspected. That's it for now. See you in Blogsember, which, coincidentally, is in the future.